So here's the absolute best way to go about getting clients for your social media marketing agency in 2023 and going beyond into 2024. It doesn't matter if you're offering something that's saturated, if you're in a saturated market, this core principle that I'm gonna break down in this particular video is going to help you no matter what industry you're in, what niche you're in, or what you're actually offering. So stay tuned for the end of this video because it's definitely going to be worth your time right here. So the reason behind doing this video guys is because I'm seeing a lot of people struggle still to this day with not getting clients, not getting consistent meetings, not being able to close those clients because their the calls are actually so cold and awkward and they're not able to scale to 10K, 20K, 30K per month and then go about doing whatever they wanna do once they've hit those particular numbers. I'm still seeing people sending out thousands of cold outreach, thousands of cold emails, thousands of cold calls and nothing seems to be working for them. They're getting not interested, they're getting, take me off of your list, they're telling people, telling them to F off, all that crazy stuff. So let's break down the exact best way to go about getting clients for your social media marketing agency in 2023, guys. So here you can see, guys, I've just got a couple of wins on the actual board right here. Here's Marty right here. He was able to close a $1,150 per month client for a social media marketing agency for video editing as well. So that's video editing. We all know that that's quite saturated. We all know that pretty much every niche, every service is saturated at this particular point. There's no magical niche or anything like that. So if you're looking for a magical niche a magical service or whatever it is just forget about it it's pretty much all been done literally it's all been done in fact i would actually stay away from services that haven't been done and unsaturated niches because those are niches that aren't or haven't been proven to be honest with you here's michael again um, with 1.8k per month client and a 2.4k per month client this again was only one week ago this was yesterday quite literally yesterday and this was maybe a week and a couple of days ago, maybe like maybe even a week ago, or whatever it was. So new client signed, paid in full three months in advance, 5.4K content creation. So what I'm gonna show you, he's leveraging the best outreach method right now. And it's not just Upwork, by the way. It's not Upwork, it's not cold calls, it's not any of that. It's something completely new that you've probably not even tried. If you had, you probably wouldn't even be watching this video. So again, it's not cold emails. Not cold emails, that's not, that's not the best way to get clients right now. It's not cold calls, it's not cold DMs, and it's not offering bigger and better guarantees. All these things have been completely played out guys think about it right now every single person that starts a social media marketing agency or a facebook ads agency what do they do they try and find an unsaturated niche first which you know they spin their wheels for like three months trying to pick the perfect niche which doesn't exist quite literally does not exist then they try to do cold outreach whether that's cold emails cold calling going door to door all those are played out here's why they're played out Technology is getting so good that you can send thousands on top of thousands of cold emails now without really lifting a button using AI and write really good copy. If everybody's got good copy, a good offer, because everybody's read the book $100 million Offers by Alex Amosi, so everybody now has strong offers and everybody has good copy because of you know the likes of AI copywriters, as well as everybody's got tools like Lemlist and Instantly. Everybody knows these tools. Everybody's trying to scrape leads using VAs and hiring a bunch of VAs to send cold outreach. What do you think is gonna happen? If everybody's doing that, do you think that's still a good idea to do that yourself? So you're telling me it's not worked for you, yet you're gonna continuous doing the, continuously do the thing that's not worked for you to try and get a different result. In order to get different results, you need to do something different. In fact, it's Einstein that literally said the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over again, hoping for a different result. You need to stand out from the crowd. It's saturated out there. So let me show you what the best outreach method is right now. Let me explain to you real quick. Cold outreach, it's not, it's not cold outreach. It's not cold calls. It's not cold emails. It's not cold DMs. It's not offering bigger and better guarantees. Everybody and their uncle's got a guarantee these days. It's, it's not that. Even trying to say stuff like, oh, we work for free. I'm telling you right now, there's people out there that have sent thousands of cold emails trying to sell a free trial and people can't even sell that. How, how do you get better than that? Please tell me in the comment section, what is better than offering a free trial plus money back on top for wasting their time. AKA, people right now are reaching out to like dentists, for example, with cold emails saying they're, trying, they're gonna offer this particular service for completely free for 30 days. And on top of that, we will give you $500 out of our own pocket on top of that for wasting your time if it doesn't work. People are offering that and they still can't get clients. So it's not your, it's not your offer, it's not bigger guarantees. What it is, it's your approach. So don't do cold emails anymore. Don't do cold calls anymore. Don't do cold DMs anymore, especially if you want to scale. I mean, they, these might work eventually after you sent like 50,000 emails. They'll literally work after 50,000 emails. In fact, I worked, worked out the other day, if you haven't watched the video, it was 79,200 emails from one of the top dudes programs that you need to do in order just to get to 20K, 20K per month. Imagine sending 79,200 emails just to get to 20K a month. It's absolutely insane. So let me explain to you why these outreach methods suck first and show you really why they're broken so you can understand and stay away from them, stay far away from them. I actually hate cold outreach. I think you're a sucker if you're doing cold outreach. If you're doing cold emails, 
I'm doing cold calls. I secretly low, low key laugh. I, I feel sorry for you. No, I'm so sorry to be like very, I won't even say offensive, but like, come on guys. When was the last time you bought something from cold emails? But think about how you bought Iman Gadget's program. How did you buy Iman Gadget's program? How did you buy one of my programs before? Think about it. You came inbound. So let's break these down. So here's why cold outreach and cold calls and stuff like that sucks. This is the primary reason. Number one is one-to-one -one marketing. That means if you need to reach out to 79,200 different businesses to get to 20K per month, each time you actually reach out to a business, that's one business you now need to reach out to directly. As in, if you want to go from 50 outreach a day to 100 outreach a day, you then have to double the amount of work you do. As in, instead of sending 50 emails to 50 individual businesses, now you have to go out there and find 50 more businesses per day on top of what you're already doing. So now you have to find 100 businesses per day and reach out to each one of those 100 businesses per day. So that's one-to-one -one marketing. As in, you create the message and now you have to go and find 100 different businesses to send it to. So that's one-to-one -one messaging. It's not, it's not like a YouTube video, for example. I can create this YouTube video right here and it might get 300 views, 500 views, 2,000 views, 5,000 views. Who knows? But point is this. I can create the video one time using one piece of work, drop the video here on YouTube, and it will actually be viewed by maybe a thousand people on average, let's say a thousand people on average. So that basically means I'm able to do a thousand outreach by recording a 20 minute long video. I record it one time, send it to an editor, it uploads it. That's what you call one to many marketing. That's the big reason why cold outreach sucks. Another reason why cold outreach sucks is that it doesn't compound over time. I've been talking about this since ages. When you do cold emails and a bunch of cold emails for five years straight, for example, at the end of five years, if you lose all of your clients, you've got nothing to show for that, except for maybe some testimonials from clients. You've got no, here's what I mean by this. You've got no audience at the end of the day. Whereas if you just dropped a YouTube video two times a week on YouTube, for example, or created some posts on Instagram for five years straight, you'd have an audience to sell to after the five years. It would take long, but both of them are gonna take long. It's just that I think it, your time's which much better spent building an actual audience that compounds over time. Look at how Iman Gadji's been able to blow up to like 3 million subscribers. Look at how I've been able to get like 20, even though it's only 25K subscribers on my YouTube channel, that's still an audience that I can literally, like I've literally made hundreds of thousands of dollars from, quite literally. The reason for that is because it compounds over time. It gets better and better over every single year. For example, if Alex Amosi right now lost all of his money and whatnot, I bet you any money he would come out with some sort of new program, service, whatever it is, and he would be able to drop that on his YouTube channel by dropping a series of videos and just changing the links in his bio and in, in his description. And I'm telling you right now, it would sell out any service because he's got an audience. You guys don't have an audience. You don't have a middle of funnel. You don't have top of funnel. You don't have middle of funnel to warm people up. I'll explain all this in a second. It's slow and tedious. Cold outreach is very slow, very tedious. You have to go out there and manually find and scrape leads or use some sort of janky AI software to do that for you or, or manage a bunch of VAs to do it for you. Either way, there's still human element to it that's basically gonna break your business. That's normally what stops businesses. You become your own bottleneck and you're no different when you do cold outreach. Even if you offer a, a guarantee on top of a guarantee on top of a guarantee, so you don't pay until we get your results, plus we give you money back on top of that, plus we do something else. This is what it's got to. And I keep saying this, we've got to the point of diminishing returns. I keep saying this. In SMA right now, we've got to the point of diminishing returns. What that basically means is back in 2019, 18, I remember when nobody was offering a guarantee. Now everybody's offering a guarantee. So guarantees are no longer special. It went from offering just one guarantee. And then you'd, you'd like, it, I remember people killing it with their agencies without even offer, having to offer a guarantee. Then people started offering guarantees and then started killing it because they were, they were the only ones that pioneered that to kind of like stand out. And it was like rare back then to offer like a guarantee. And now everybody has basically taught you how to like create guarantees. Like Alex Amosi with the book, everybody in their programs teach you how you have to have a strong offer, which I'm not saying that you don't have to have a strong offer. It's just that if you're approaching your strong offer with just plain old cold outreach and cold emails and cold calls, even if you've got like really good testimonials from previously, everybody's heard it all. They've heard your pitch. They've heard your little guarantees. They've heard the way how you are different and you focus on client results first. They've heard how you don't, you work for free until you get results. They've heard of all of that. They've heard all of that. They've had hundreds of cold emails. Even I get hundreds of cold emails per week trying to pitch me on video editing services. Literally, I've heard it all a week. I've heard people tell me they've been able to scale YouTube channels from zero to 200K subscribers in less than two months or whatever it is. I've heard people say that they've worked with all these big YouTube names and thrown names all about. And like, I'm just, I'm, I'm looking at them and I've, I've just heard all of this over and over and over again. That I've just become numb to it. It'd be more impressive if I went out of my way to try and like learn how to scale my own like YouTube channel. And I came across a video talking about, here's how you can go about scaling a YouTube channel to 200K subscribers in, I don't know, two months. And I came across that video and you really resonated with me on video. And then I clicked on a video and description and booked in a call with you. 
That'd be a much better way to get me as a client. Literally, a much better way to get me as a client. The, the, the solution is not to offer a big guarantee or just do more cold outreach and do, do more stuff that doesn't work. Here's the actual way about going about building your business. It's by building an actual strong brand. Let me explain this here right now. So this is what the funnel actually looks like. There's a bit of a, a top funnel bit here, which you kind of can't see. It's actually super dark, but you've got the top of the funnel. You've got middle, you know, middle here, I would say, like middle here. Then you've got the bottom of the funnel. So you've got top of funnel, which is awareness. So we've got awareness here. This is how every single person you've probably bought from has got you as a client or customer. Think about it. Rolex does this, Apple does this, Amazon does this, Iman Gaji does this, Alex Amosi does this, Montel Gordon does this. The only person that doesn't do it is you. Literally, you're the only person that doesn't do it. And here's what I mean by this. So awareness, you've got awareness at the top. So this is what a traditional sales funnel looks like. First of all, you've got awareness at the top. Then you've got like interest. Interest then turns into desire. Desire then turns into action, action. And then action turns into a decision or a purchasing decision, basically. So let me explain what's going on, right? So your awareness right now, if you're doing cold emails, this is what you're doing. You're trying to get people aware of you by just shooting them a cold email. Saying, hey, we're running a marketing agency. We've been able to take this client from zero to 500K a month using this thing, using our unique system, blah, 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 blah. And then what you're trying to do is you're trying to get them straight onto a call, which you're skipping over all of this. You're skipping over all of this so you don't even have a middle of funnel. They're not getting warm to who you are. They don't have a clue who you are. Even if you have like a little email sequence, that doesn't really work that, that well these days. And then you're trying to get them on a call, on, on like a call. And then that call, then you, you're hoping to close them as a client. And then when you're on this call, you, you'll know if you've got this symptom, by the way. First of all, it's difficult. Here's how you can identify if you've got a broken system. Number one, it's difficult to get consistent calls. It's not predictable. That's symptom number one. Symptom number two is that when you do get calls, when you actually do get calls and you get on them, they're very awkward. As in like the person's not sure who you are. They don't trust you yet. They're, it's very cold feeling. And it feels as if you need to sell yourself as a person to them first. And it feels very awkward. They're not ready to buy. They need to think about it. They're not interested. They've heard it all before. If they say stuff like that, then you need a system like this. Because let me explain to you how my sales calls go. I'm not even joking. People become aware of me through like my content on social media. They've watched my videos for literally years. So I've got this amazing middle, middle of funnel content going for me. Sales assets case studies, video testimonials, all this stuff going going on for me, content that sells and shifts beliefs for people. And then when people get on a call with me, they already know my entire story. They know where I live. They even know when my mom passed away. They know what car I've bought. They literally know my entire story as a person, what I've been able to do, how I started SMA, how long I've been in SMA for, who my top students are, what they've been able to do. They've even, they've even probably even messaged some of the people that they've seen on my stories when I'm, I'm you know, on my Instagram, make sure you follow me on Instagram, see all of my highlights. They've seen on 400 something, you know, testimonials. And if you haven't, go through, go to my Instagram, go watch my highlights, skip through all of them. And I want you to literally skip through every single one of them and read them until your thumb literally starts aching to the point where you're like, you know what, Montel knows what he's talking about. Let me actually just go booking a call with him. I just wanted to hop on here real quick to give a massive shout out to Montel's course, Six Figure Name. Now, if you're anything like me, maybe you are a coach or you're a consultant or maybe you run your own agency and you're looking for inbound leads as opposed to outbound because we all know how much of a rabbit hole outbound can be, right? If you look for inbound, then I could not recommend a course and I could not recommend a guy more than Six Figure Name and Montel, all right? At this point, I've spent tens of thousands on courses, all right? I spent so much money and I've seen little to no results from the other courses. If I had to start again completely scratch, the first person I'd run to would be Montel. So hopefully that helps you. And if this sounds intriguing to you and you want to get involved, then I look forward to seeing you in the group. Take care. That's what happens. Happens every single time. People get on a call with me and before they're even getting, getting on a call with me, they're already ready to buy. They just want to iron out a few questions here and there. That's it. I'm not even joking. I've even had people tell me that I didn't even really need this call. I would have I would just paid you the, the full three to five K in advance if, I, if there was like a link, a checkout link. So just send me the link, please. I'm not joking. That's the difference. If you're cold, you're getting on calls with people and it's so awkward, so cold that they're asking for like testimonials. They're asking for references. They're asking if like, oh, do you have even any past results? It's because you don't have middle of funnel. You've, your middle of funnel is gone because all you're doing is sending, you're doing cold call. How do you build your middle of funnel if you're doing a cold call? You don't. This is what happens on a cold call. You cold call somebody, you interrupt their day. They're not thinking about you. They don't care about anything you have to say. They're probably busy doing something. You've interrupted their day 
And then you say, hey, are you interested in scaling your business? Blah, 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 blah. You come up with all these fancy little scripts and guarantees and all this crazy stuff. And then you get them on a call. And some of them barely even show up. Your show up rate is terrible. People are barely even showing up because they're just not interested. They probably forgot about who you are as well. Not only that, but from the from the actual cold call itself to the actual sales call, in between here, you're trying to set you're trying to send them over like little videos of who you are, what you've been able to do, and all these testimonials and stuff like that, just to try and build up some middle of funnel awareness. But people barely even click that. I've done I've tried this before, by the way. This is exactly what I did when I was jumping into the e-commerce space, trying to do cold emails. And then when people did book in a call with me, I would send them like little resources here and there, like little PDFs and sales assets and little videos about me and like testimonials and all that crazy stuff, like in between our call. So in between the actual cold email to the actual sales call itself, I was trying to send them all this. And I still get on calls with people. And I was like, hey, would you be able to check out the, the recent testimonial we got? And they were like, oh, no, we didn't get around to, to checking that out. Maybe you could just show us here on the call. People, people don't open those. People don't, people don't really care because you forced your way into their sphere. So now you have to sell them. So it's super awkward. I don't even like sales calls. I don't like sales. I don't want to do sales. When you get on a call with me, most of the time, it's not me even selling you. You've, you've already sold yourself. And if you're not sold yet, just go back on my channel and start watching videos. This is the difference between people that are actually making a lot of money to people that are broke. They have no middle of funnel strategy. Anybody can send a cold email. Anybody. My, my, my brother, my dog can send a cold email. My grandma can send a cold email. My grandma can set up Lemless right now and come up with a strong offer within a day and use AI to write the software, R write the um, cold email, excuse me, and then send that out to a thousand people. Anybody can do that. Not everybody, though, is willing to build a middle of funnel system that actually takes prospects and warms them up over time. This is how I've been able to do it. I make my first million online. This is how Iman Gadji's done it. I made multiple, multiple millions online. Shout out to that guy. He's an absolute genius. Because what he does is have a very strong middle of funnel. What he does is he tells his story about how SMA changed his life. You then probably subscribe to his channel. You know, you came across his channel either organically or through an ad. Here's what he really, he's really good at. He runs ads to his YouTube channel to just get you to subscribe. Once he's got you as a subscriber, he knows it's only a matter of time before you watch a bunch of his videos, YouTube videos, for maybe, even if it takes you a year, two years, three years to convert. I've been subscribed to this dude's channel since five years ago. I actually remember him running an ad. They say, money all around me. You know the ad I'm talking about, the 16-year-old high school dropout, 17-year-old high school dropout ad. Probably a lot of you know what I'm talking about, watching this. I remember watching that and checking out this guy and thinking, who is this? Who is this douchebag? Let me go click on his, on, on his channel, check out his channel. Turns out he was actually, you know, legit. So I'm looking for his stuff and I was like, yo, I really resonate with this kid. Subscribed to his channel, started watching a bunch of his videos and then eventually ended up buying his program maybe three years down the line or whatever it was. But he spent maybe $50 max to get me as a subscriber on his channel. I then turned into, and I've bought multiple programs from this guy. So maybe it's two to maybe even 3K call it, buying his program, you know, these days if I buy a program from you, it's just because I want to see what's inside it and whatnot, see how, how I can leverage that. But long story short, he turned $50 one time that he probably spent to get me a subscriber back in 2018. And I converted into a new customer of his for one of his programs in maybe 2020 or something like that, maybe 2022. Maybe 2021, whenever it was, it doesn't even, doesn't even matter. All, all, all I know is that, you know, it take, sometimes it can take years. In fact, I, I've even had people on this YouTube channel that have been watching me since the very like first couple of videos I dropped. They then end up deciding, you know what, enough's enough. I've been watching you for three, four, five years on, on the YouTube channel, Montel. It's time to get to work. Just send me the invoice. And they'll just ping over, a, they'll just ping over a message. In fact, I'll throw on the screen right now a conversation of a mentor that I spoke to and I pinged them over to seven grand, just straight away. 7,000 US dollars, no sales call. I've done this. Literally just, and this, this was the start of this month. This wasn't even a week ago. I think I was actually a week ago to, no, it was actually, I don't even think it was a week ago. I think it was this Sunday. I literally messaged the mentor that I've been watching on his YouTube channel for four or five years. And I said, let's go. What's, your, what's the price of the program? Okay, cool. Boom, send me over the invoice. Paid seven grand without even speaking to the guy. That's the difference. And you guys can't even sell a free trial. You guys can't even sell a free trial with a money back on top of that. Come on, guys, man. You guys got to start thinking a little bit better than that. Um, so you've got no middle of funnel content. You've got no sales asset. You, so you're not building up that interest. You're not able to shift beliefs with your content and build up desire. That desire is then you're not directing that desire into action and then you're not getting any sales. So no wonder why you guys can't get to like 10K per month to get to, you know, you, with this strategy, you can get to a million a month. I'm not joking. You know, you might need to change your business model to get to a million a month because SMA, you know, has does have a glass ceiling onto, on, on it. But you can easily get to like 10 to 30K. Like, like that's child's play with this, this strategy. Even I've got to 100K per month, you know, just under 100K per month using this strategy. Even I have done that, quite literally. This is without like even touching 
ads, no ads, no money on ads. If you then start leveraging ads, it becomes so much more powerful. So let me break down, guys, just real quick, how you can go about doing this organically, organically, without having to, you know, um, spend money on ads and without having to do any cold outreach, no cold outreach. So here's what I would recommend you do. So let's say you are in the, and this is how I did it, basically. Let's say you are in the, and by the way, just look at the screen here. These are people that are saying, I love your stuff on YouTube and starting my own agency at the moment. I have a, I have a, I have a consulting agency that helps other agencies. So now this is literally a potential lead for me. Even if he doesn't decide to, to buy right here and, and there, I can, you know, accept this. There you go, I'll do this live for you. I accepted this dude here. And now he will be in my sphere of, on, my, on my LinkedIn. And whenever I post content, he's going to see that over and over and over and over again. And eventually after maybe a year, two years, three years, maybe even just two weeks, maybe even he's ready, ready right now. Who knows? I could reach out to this guy and see what he's doing with his agency and maybe convert him into a new client. Who knows? But take the same concept, implement it for your agency. That's the best outreach method. It's getting inbound clients. Stop chasing clients start attracting clients. So let me show you how you go about doing this. Let's just type in divorce lawyer real quick. I'm just gonna type in divorce lawyer. For some reason, I'm just gonna use divorce lawyer and I'm gonna go to people, for example. And what you can do is start adding these people. This is how easy it is, guys. This is literally how easy it is. It's how easy it is. Instead of just reaching out to these people with like a cold outreach message, what you wanna do is what you call people collect. Now again, LinkedIn does have its limits. I think it's 100 connects requests you can send per week. So you can leverage stuff like Facebook. So what you can do is you can cross-reference. So we know that this guy, Robin Charrot, I believe that's how you pronounce his name. Forgive me if I've butchered that. But you can see that this guy is from UK, Manchester, and he's divorce and prenup lawyer. What I can do is I can connect with it. If, if this was my niche, I would connect with this guy. And then when I connect with this guy, my profile on LinkedIn would be all optimi optimized around getting divorce, law divorce lawyers a bunch of leads using my secret system. You know, your secret system is what you call your unique mechanism, which is, we'll call it your, I called this in the, in the last video. Oh, by the way, if you don't know what I'm talking about here, make sure you go and watch the very first video on my YouTube channel. When you click to my YouTube channel, um, there'll be a featured pinned video. You need to watch that in order to understand that, understand this video. But long story short, your profile will be optimized for this guy to see that you are a specialist at running, even if you're not, by the way, even if you're not, you still have to do this because this is how you stand out. But on your profile, you're gonna have a bunch of content that talks specifically to divorce lawyers, what their pain problems are and how they can go about getting more clients for their business using your secret system, your unique mechanism. We call it your unique mechanism, which might be your PDB system, PDB system. Don't know what PDB stands for, it sounds cool. If I was a divorce lawyer, I'd be like, what on earth are you talking about? How can you go about getting 30 leads per week using a PDD, PDP system or whatever you wanna call it? P2P system, I don't, I don't know, you, you guys come up with a cool name. For example, like I've got the hybrid system, really cool, really cool name for an actual strategy that works. So come up with your own unique mechanism of doing things. Don't just call it Facebook ads is what I'm trying to say. You need a unique mechanism. So then he will accept me, you know, might not accept me, some will accept me, forget about the ones that don't, obviously. And now you're growing an audience over time. Do this after, do this enough, maybe a month, a month two months, three months, three, four months. Again, it took me 33 days to land my first real estate client doing this exact same method. Well, I did, didn't even use LinkedIn Navigator, just used the basic LinkedIn, didn't even need to pay for this, completely free. It's the organic way of doing it. And what you can do is find these guys, connect with them, get them on your profile. Once they connect, obviously you can hit them with an outreach message. That's more what I like to call a warm outreach message because they're warm to your face. They've actually seen your face and your profile. They see something tangible now. It's not just a HTML text in like a cold email. That's what cold emails actually are. And it's not just a, a, a cold voice from a stranger over a mobile phone so they can't see your face. People like connecting with faces. The reason why YouTube works so well for getting new clients and customers and, sh and stuff like that and inbound stuff, which I do recommend you start doing, even if you're scared, you just have to get over it, unless you want to stay broke and sending cold emails that don't work. If you want to, if you want to do that, stay sending cold emails. But if you want to actually make some money, start putting yourself out there. Start making excuses. I had to do it from the beginning. I started when I was negative 230, 230 pounds in my bank account. I started YouTube with. There you go. Didn't, didn't have a clue what I was doing. You can actually go back on my channel right now and go look. I'm not even joking. So can I, you can cross-reference this guy and plug him into Facebook and add him on Facebook as well. And then again, your Facebook op profile will be optimized all around your particular niche. Or if you're in just using Facebook itself, what you can do is start looking at different groups. For example, let's say you're in dentists. You can start adding, you know, going into these different groups and start adding people manually. Now, this is the manual way of doing it. And by the way, you can, you know, once you find them on LinkedIn, realistically, kind of like use LinkedIn first, but then cross-reference that onto other platforms. The reason why I say that is because you can literally type in the person's job or like title, like divorce lawyer. You can't really do that on like um, Instagram, like divorce lawyer. You can't really, I mean, you probably could. It'd be so much more difficult, but you can find individual people, for example, um, divorce and prenup lawyer. Here's, here's this guy. What I would do is I would take his name, literally copy it, 
and find him on Facebook, add him on Facebook. I would then see if he's got an Instagram account as well. Go and find him on Instagram. Drop him a follow. And then hopefully he follows back. And if he does, you have content on there. That's the manual way of doing things. Very easy, very simple to do. You need to be dropping at least one piece of content a day. A day. And everybody that likes your stuff, everybody that likes your content, everybody that follows you back, everybody that can, you know, adds, you know, accepts your, your, um, accepts your friend request or your LinkedIn request, you message them. All these need to be messaged. Any sort of movement, I call this engagement, any sort of engagement, they like, they like your stuff, follow, accept, or even comments on your stuff. You, you message them, you start a conversation, you have convos. It's not a script. Do not script this. Do not script this. You have a conversation. It's social media. It's not designed to be sending scripts. You have a conversation with these people. If you want to speed this up, what you would do, and this is the greatest way you can actually leverage this, is you can use Upwork first and foremost, like these guys that I showed you at the, at the beginning of the actual video. Let's go back. These guys that are actually killing it with Upwork to build up your advertising dollars. This is the hybrid system 2.0. I call it the hybrid personal brand. Hybrid personal brand. HPB system. There you go. There's my own unique name. I'm showing you this live in practice. HPB name, the HPB system. Hybrid personal brand. There you go. So as you can see, this is Christy right here. 5.4K client. This week, he closed. Now what he can do is go onto his Instagram and use this method because he's, he's, he's used Upwork, scaled the agency to five, you know, got, got, some, got some advertising dollars in his bank account. And now what he can do is run very simple real ads. We call these real ads. Real ads, because they're Instagram reels that are boosted as ads. They're not ads that, you know, put to a landing page. You know, you see an ad on Facebook, you click on it and it goes to a landing page and then you put your email address in and then you watch a free case study. And then after that free case study, you're booking a call. We don't do that. That's slow. It's expensive as well. It's very expensive, in fact. And it's actually much quicker, but it's much more expensive, should I say. Um, so the real ads are just to design to get you followers. In the real ads, again, watch my previous videos because you need to watch those to understand this. This is just to get you followers of your ideal niche. Forgive the handwriting, by the way. So you say in that video, hey, if you're a divorce lawyer and you're looking to increase the amount of clients coming through into your firm, what you need to be using is our APB system. You've probably tried Facebook ads before, didn't work. You've probably tried sending out cold outreach, it doesn't work. You've probably sent out flyers, this thing, that thing. You've probably even worked with other agencies, it's not worked. You need to do this. And if you wanna learn more about it, follow me here on Instagram and learn for free. Then going to start generating you inbound followers for around $2 a follower. That $2 a follower, every 30 people that you speak to, every 30 followers that you get, you should be getting on one call. That basically means you need to spend around $60, roughly, even if it's double this. I would actually say it wouldn't be double this, but let's say it's every 30, 30 to 40 followers. That basically means you're generating a call at around $60 per call. If it takes you five calls to close a client, and that means you need to spend $60 times five, I believe that's $300. So it comes out to like $300 per client you're closing. So it ends up coming out to around $60. Every time you put your $60 into this particular ad, and again, you record the ad one time, it's one ad. You record the ad one time and set it and leave it. Obviously, if it's optimized. help. If you need help writing the script, let me know. Drop me a message on Instagram or just book in a call directly below. We help you with your content, scripting, scripting your ad, creating the ad, running the ad, optimizing the ad, tracking the ad, scaling the ad as well as getting clients inbound, as well as actually creating your offer, your unique mechanism, all of that for your agency to build your social media marketing agency past 10K, 20K, 30K per month. And these ads, by the way, you can start with literally $10 a day and it takes you 13, I actually track this, it takes you 13 clicks to set this up. It's actually quicker to set this up than it is to set up um, Lemlist. I'm not joking. I can set you one up an ad right now and it will take me less time than it would for you to actually leverage Lemlist. Not only that, but Lemless, you have to warm up domains, your email domains for like 14 days. In that 14 days, we could have literally ran the ad at $10 a day, spend $140 on that and reached literally thousands on top of thousands of people, ten, tens of thousands of people. If the CPM cost per impression is $10, so I'm getting like $13, but your, your niche will be le le less saturated than mine. So I'm going to show you how to find less saturated niches because nobody's doing this. When was the last time you saw an ad positioned towards divorce attorneys that was an Instagram ad? The end goal was to just generate more followers to the middle of funnel. You've not seen that. I mean, you've probably seen an ad to certain niches about generating them leads, but the, the, the call to action was come and check out this free case study or fill out this form or whatever it is. There's no filling out forms or anything like that. Everybody knows that strategy. 
This is completely different. So it's something that you've probably never, never even seen before. So your cost per call will be about $60. That means every time you put $60 into machine, you're getting one qualified call coming back out. You could probably even get this a little bit cheaper, probably about 60 to, you know, you could probably get about to 60, a little bit cheaper, a little bit more expensive, depending on, on, on what niche you're in, obviously, and how you've scripted the ad. Once you've got this dialed in, about 60 to $90 for, per call. If it's, you know, times five calls that you need to close one client, then what you would do is you need to spend $60 times five, which is, I believe is $300. It's $300 per one client. So your cost per acquisition, your CPA should be around $300 to around $450. Even if it's more than this, it's still gonna be extremely profitable. Because if you're closing clients for at least 2.5K, and by the way, you can charge more when you do something like this because you're actually seen as an authority figure. Think, uh, let me explain why. Like, how are you trying to run a Facebook ads agency and you're not even running ads to get your own clients for your own Facebook ads agency, yet you're doing cold outreach? How crazy is that? Like, what, what, what do you mean? That's like somebody who sells, that's almost like Coca-Cola. I think it's Coca-Cola, the brand Coca-Cola, they don't let their children drink Coca-Cola because they know it's bad for you. I think it's Warren Buffett as well that, that, that like pretends he drinks Coca-Cola in, in public, but he doesn't really give it to his kids. Bit shady is what I'm trying to say. So you're trying to get clients for your social media marketing agency, but you can't even get clients yourself using social media. What kind of backwards world are we living in? That's like an overweight person trying to teach you how to become healthy weight when they're like extremely overweight clearly overweight you know what i'm trying to say like how are you trying to get social media management clients or social media marketing clients and you're not even able to use social media marketing itself to get your own clients how crazy is that that's like a salesperson trying to sell a sales program on sales but can't sell their sales program because they suck at sales <laughs> how crazy that is guys so um yeah this is the new system you use upwork or you generate cash flow doesn't matter you can use upwork in the new program by the way i teach you all of this and you get um, agency tramitation for free. The new program is called Six Figure Name. It teaches you how to go about building a brand organically and and speeding up with paid ads. It also comes with up, uh, an Upwork section and just the entire age tramitation program for free. You get AT for free in the new program, right? So you can leverage Upwork using AT, age tramitation. We'll teach you that so you can build up dollars. Once you've got these sweet, sweet dollars, instead in AT, it teaches you cold outreach. We no longer do cold outreach anymore. Forget cold outreach, it sucks. I'm actually against cold outreach. I'm anti cold outreach. If you don't like it, unsubscribe. Literally unsubscribe. I don't think I know anybody, realistically, out of the thousands of people I've helped scale. I've scaled past like 60K because of cold outreach. Most people I know that are making like 100K, 200K, 300K, 500K a month, I've just got a mentor. He's making more than 250, he's making more than a quarter mil a month or something like that. I think his record month was 300 and something K. Didn't send a single cold outreach message one, not a single message. He hasn't sent cold outreach in five years. Hasn't done, hasn't touched a single cold outreach message in five years. Yeah, it's hitting 300K months. Come on guys. You need guys need to start focusing, man. And again, if you don't believe me, how do you think all the do gurus make their money? It's not, it's not because they sell courses. I mean, courses are cool and all, yeah? Courses are cool and all, but what, how did you get their course? Think about it. How did you get their course? You went inbound to them. This is their best kept secret. You went inbound to them because they have a personal brand. Some of them have a big personal brand and they built it organically. We don't need to do organic. We can do both organic plus ads, which is why it's called the hybrid personal brand. Just a personal brand is just building organically. With ads, it's called a hybrid personal brand. You see the difference? Because it takes you about five years just to build a brand. I've been on YouTube now for what, five years? and I've only got 25K subscribers. For me, it's not really been, I'd say it's definitely been worth it because I made my first mill like pretty much like all organically. We've started turning on ads now and it's just literally just sped up everything. It's actually embarrassing like, why, had, why do I have so much dollars in my account when I know that if I put like $1 into to the machine, I can bring back out maybe even, let's, let's call it at the lowest, $3. This is that machine. Building a hybrid personal brand is this machine. You put $1 into the machine and you know you can bring back out $3. For example, if you over here know that it's going to cost you $60 to get a qualified call and you need to get, and every five calls you take, you'll get one client. Well, then you know to get five clients, you, just, you need to spend the, the uh, $300 to get, it costs you $300 to get one client for 2K, 2.5K, right? For 2.5K, you, you, every time you put $300 into the, into the, into the um, system on average, this is average, you bring back out a 2.5K client because you take five calls. Well, then you know if you want to scale to 
10k per month, you need to quadruple, 4x your ad spend. So now you need to spend 1.2k. If, if your CPA is $300, cost per acquisition, how much it costs you to acquire a new client? Cost per acquisition. So if it's $300, even if it's, for fi even if it's $500, Let's call it five hundred dollars, right? And you need five, and, and you and, and that you know you need four clients. Well, then you know you need to spend two grand on ads. And you could turn that into ten k per month. I'm not joking. There are people that have put a grand into ads, like one point two k actually. The, the case today I'm thinking about one point two k into ads, and they've brought back out like over seventy four k. No, it's actually it was actually just under eighty k, just under eighty k, like seventy nine k, seventy nine k, and that was with a coaching program, which is extremely saturated. Coaches, coaching, coaches. That's extremely saturated. I don't really recommend getting into that. Or I do recommend getting into a coaching niche, but if it's like a done for you service, that is coaching, coaching, coaches on an online program, extremely saturated. And he still was able to take 1.2K, invest that into ads, the same strategy, the same middle, the, the same middle of funnel strategy here, this strategy right here. And he was able to bring back out 79K. The robots on that is unheard of. The reason why the ROAS is unheard of is because we're not trying to drive traffic to a freaking landing page anymore. So guys, this is the best way to go about getting clients for your social media marketing agency in 2023. You cannot tell me otherwise. I, right now, I'm telling you right now, can set up one ad. I can blast this ad at $50 per day. My CPM, CPM, cost per thousand impressions. How much it cost me to show this ad to a thousand people is around $10. That means I can send, I, I can, Record one ad one time. One ad one time. It's a 30 second ad, 60 second ad. Put it on my Instagram, boost it. Spend $50 a day on it. I can generate followers at $2. So that means I'm, I'm generating, it's actually a little bit more than this, but I'm generating about 25 followers every single day. That basically means I'm getting on maybe one call a day, about one call a day. Even if it's not one call a day. Let's call it every 50 followers I've gotten a call. What would that make that be? You, you guys can do the, you guys can do the maths. So yeah, it'd be it'd be hundred dollars hundred dollars per call times that by five. I know that I've got a twenty easily got over more, more than twenty percent close rate easily. I've got like a forty percent close rate, fifty percent close rate. That basically means let, even though it's, let's say it's twenty percent close rate, that means I need to spend hundred dollars per call times that by five. That's five hundred dollars to get a new client of mine for my consulting agency called Six Figure Name. And if I charge Five grand, that's a 10X ROAS, 10X ROAS. And I set up the ad one time and I can leave this running for three months, four months, five months, six months until the ad gets fatigued and then I shoot another one. No outreach is being done. And as a byproduct, all the people that didn't buy from my ad are now followers on my, on my, on my profile, on my Instagram profile. When, to, when I started doing this, I was at 10.1K fo um, followers on Instagram. I'm now at 10.8. That means I've just generated over 700 new inbound leads that all follow me because they know me for social media marketing and helping people scale with social media marketing. That means I have 700 potential customers slash clients for one of my programs or age tramitation or whatever it is. It's, it's, all in my, it's all in my niche. I only need, I only need to close seven people out of this, 5K. You guys can do the maths. It's like 35K, 35K right there. And I've, I've spent less than 2K on ads. I think I spent about less, yeah, less than 2K on ads. I think it's about, I think it's actually coming up to about my first 2K on ads. Come on guys, you can't beat this. You can't beat this. I'm not doing a single piece of cold outreach. It's all inbound. Like right now as we're talking, in fact, let's actually go to my Instagram and see if this is actually, I'm going to do this live by the way. So if, if it doesn't work, it's going to be embarrassing. I'm just going to click it, literally just load my Instagram up right now. See if we've got any new followers coming in on the left hand side here. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Free followers, free likes. I just literally said, like, li that's literally three new followers we've gained. If I click on it, see what we got here. There we go. Followers. These all, these are probably all followed me. Look at this. So in the last 55 minutes, we've got what, what, follower here, follower here, um, follower here. Lots of engagement going on. All these people that are liking, engaging, commenting on my stuff, they're all people that, that I can actually reach out to. Another, another follower here, follower here, follower here. Getting loads of followers, guys. I did that live as well. I didn't even realize that was actually going to work that well. But um, there you go, guys. This works. And these are all potential leads. Quite literally. Let's actually go to... This sounds like a... Maybe this is not a potential lead, but there we go. Oh, there we go. It's, a, it's an agency. Web design agency. Look at that. 
what did I just say? This is a, this is a qualified lead. I could reach out to this person and be like, hey, look, your personal brand's kind of crazy. Like, this is not even a personal brand. We can definitely help you with this. Where's your agency at now? Reach out to them, blah, 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 blah. Um, and show them how to get clients for their web design agency. How to create the offer, to how to, you know, get clients inbound. They could possibly turn into a 5K client of mine. Just like that. Generated them as a, as a follower for $2. For $2. Even if it cost me $5 to generate them as a follower. Come on, guys. You can see this is, is the craziest thing. So, um, guys, that's how you do it organically. And that's how you do it with paid ads. This is the greatest strategy I have ever found, ever. Because it's like the greatest thing I've ever found online was growing a brand organically. But if you tell me, you, if you told me five years ago that you could grow a brand organically, but then speed up the process using ads and control the top of funnel. Because again, the way how a brand works is, for example, like Iman Gadji, you might have come across his, you might have typed in a keyword, an SEO ranked one of his videos and you came across him naturally. Well, if we can take that natural discovery phase of you like seeing his channel being ranked at the top and you actually click on his video and then you started like subscribing. If you can take that and replicate it, but then artificially inflate it by running an ad and putting it in front of people just to come and check out your content. I'm telling you right now, you can, you can control the flow of new people that are coming into the top of your funnel. If you can control that flow, you can control the amount of what calls you get, the amount of book calls you get, the amount of clients you get and the amount of money you make. That means I'm fully in control now of my income. I know if it costs me $300, $500 to get a client, if I want a client every single day, I'd spend $500 on ads every single day. And we're going to be doing that. I'm scaling this up ridiculously. And don't complain to me like when my program's like 20K or something crazy like that. Like my program's like 20K to get into my program. I am not even joking. Like if my program ends up being like 20K, there's people out there that are trying to, like the mentor I'm working with literally has a program that's like 34K, 34 grand. You pay this guy. I'm telling you, he's got obviously amazing results and whatnot. But like, if you want, if, like, if my program comes out, it's like 20K. Like, don't be, don't, don't be surprised because this is the greatest strategy you ever see. Because this not only does this allow you to scale the agency, but it gives you full control and autonomous, uh, autonomously on, on your entire life. Like, you can actually control the amount of flow you flow of leads you get, how of cold you get. And then you put, like, an appointment set in, in the, on your actual Instagram, reaching out to all these leads for you automatically. That means you're waking up to book calls every single day without even touching anything. You've run the ad one time. You then just can sit around recording more YouTube videos and... Just making sure your team's reaching out to people. How do you beat that? How do you beat that? I can reach, I can do 5,000 outreach a day. If my CPM is $10 and I'm spending $50 on the ad, so it costs me $10 to reach 1,000 people. And I spend $50, so it reaches out to 5,000 people a day. For $50, I can reach out to 5,000 people with one ad. Can't beat that, guys. Like, how are you doing? How are you doing 5,000 outreach a day? What you, tell me what you're using to use 5,000 outreach a day and show me how effect, effective it is. And does it build your audience long term? No, it doesn't. No, it does not. So guys, whatever you got to do to figure out the system, you got to do it. If you want to book in a call with me and actually just let me get you just implement this for you, book in a call below. Or if you want me to help you write, write your ads, script it out, create your help you create your content, scale your agency, come up with the offer, um, come up with your own unique mechanism, show you how to leverage this system, track it. We've got all the tracking sheets, everything. I'll show you exactly how much it costs you per, per call. And if you want more calls, you just increase your ad spend by clicking three buttons. You click in the ad one time, you click the ad spend, you change the number, and you press confirm. Three clicks. That's how you get. That's how you get more clients. I'm with a system like this. Once you've got it working, and you know it's costing you three hundred dollars to get a client, well, then now we can we can start ramping up your ad spend. Even put even even if you need to put it on a freaking credit card, you spend three hundred dollars on a credit card, you bring back out a two two point five k client, you pay the credit card off, you've actually now built your credit score up. You can't beat this. This is why everybody turns to advertising. Why Iman Gadji runs ads? Why the people that you bought programs from on SMA runs ads? Why I'm now running ads. Come on, guys. You can't beat this. You can't beat it. Anyway, guys, hope you've enjoyed this particular video. If you want help with this, click the link below. In the new program, we actually show you how to scale your agency. Obviously, you get age limitation for free. And then you also get this new system, the hybrid personal brand, to, to show you how to organically get clients and then scale that up. So you got advertising dollars. And we put the advertising dollars into your personal brand. I'm just blow it up, quite literally. So, guys, hope you've enjoyed this. Drop a like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon. Peace.